I'm Ken Narayan. Many thanks for being with us. You're the former governor of West Bengal. A question really on South Asia. How do you see relations between India and Pakistan? How can you resolve this history of uh, antipathy or antagonism? That's a, that's a very difficult question. Uh, but let me get it straight. I don't, I don't think that India and Pakistan are on the, on the verge of a conflict or there's any kind of a, a threat of a nuclear uh, sort of exchange between the two countries. There are, there are uh, I think, perceptions and difficulties. And as we just heard a few minutes ago during the discussion, that between neighbors, particularly when in our case, that we were one nation, there are certain uh, issues that have come up as a result of partition. I think yes, time is a great healer. And I would say that the degree of antagonism that exists is much less today than what it was. I've been, I've been around for a very long time, so I can sp speak not merely from with a sense of history, but from my own personal knowledge that I think that we are at a be much better position today than what we were even 10 or 15 years ago. So I, the one short answer to the question would be saying that relations are not very satisfactory, but I think there, there's, I would say the degree of hostility has come down. Mm -hmm. And I think both sides need to work a little more. Is that because of the relationship between uh, Nawaz Sharif and Mr. Modi, or, or is it because the army in Pakistan now has a different well, attitude? I, I, you know, but, uh, we, we generally believe that Mr. Nawaz Sharif is, is interested in improving relations with India. And it's not only with Mr. Modi. Mr. Nawaz Sharif has been prime minister uh, three times. Uh, Indeed. Three times. And I was around when he was very, we had a prime minister by name, Mr. Chandrasekhar. I was then the head of intelligence, and I've seen the relationship between Nawaz Sharif and Chandrasekhar. And even then, he was very, very forthcoming about trying to build relations. So I think having Nawaz Sharif has been probably a good uh, aspect as far as India-Pakistan relations are concerned. Mr. Modi, like I mean, uh, my, his predecessor, Mr. Manmohan Singh, I think is wedded to the idea of improving India-Pakistan relations. So I think the, what I would call the relationship is has certain important fact, uh, personalities are involved. Yes, we always in India feel that the Pakistan army is, a, is an obstacle to, to better relations. And the stronger the army becomes, I think we, per, we in India perceive that as lesser the chance of a resolution. I mean, does an organization such as the World Policy Conference, does this have any sort of role to play in improving geopolitical relations? No, I, I think, in, I mean, I, I attend a fair amount of international conferences, but I think what distinguishes the World Policy Conference from most of them is, I think one, I think they, are, they get some of the best people to, to be present. Uh, most of them are thinkers, and therefore they bring to bear, to, um, uh, I think, a great deal of insights as to how to deal with problems. Today, for instance, I mean, we found there was no, there were no harsh words exchanged. You know, I think there are a lot of things that were said today about East Asia, yeah. which I think uh, I'm going to take back, and if I have an opportunity, pass it back to, to government, saying this is how it appears <clears throat> that the winds are blowing in East Asia, and I think, so we of course have <clears throat> problems with China of a certain kind. Primarily, I think they're civilizational issues rather than ter ter territorial, but. I was for nearly six, six years the, uh, the special representative for border talks with China. And it's fascinating to understand how the Chinese mind 10,000 years of civilization versus India's 5,000 worked. So I think all this, and the WPC provides, I think, maybe one of the best forums that where you can get an exchange of ideas and take back something. Otherwise, a lot of people spout things, but we don't have option to take Thanks. them back. Thank you so much, Governor. Thank you.